Hi, I'm Matthew Muscoviak, Senior Associate Editor at CNET.com, and we're here with the Toshiba BDX2700. This is the mid-range Blu-ray player in Toshiba's line, and it's currently available online for about $180. The design is a little boxier than we're used to seeing from some competitors like Samsung and Sony that have slick, glossy black designs. There are just a few front panel buttons on the right side, and there's an SD card slot underneath. The bare bones aesthetic carries over to the user interface, which lacks the polished look available on some other players. We were also disappointed that the menus use jargon like BD-ROM instead of something simple like Blu-ray movies, or a vague term like connected to mean all of the streaming media services like Netflix. Now the BDX2700 streaming media suite includes four major services, Netflix, Vudu, Pandora, and Blockbuster. While that should be enough for most buyers, it is worth pointing out that other mid-range Blu-ray players typically include more. The BDX2700 also doesn't have DLNA compatibility, so you can't stream photos, music, and movies from a connected PC on your home network. On the upside, there is built-in Wi-Fi, so you won't need to run an Ethernet cable to your living room to access all of the streaming content. The collection of outputs on the back panel is better than average thanks to the inclusion of 7.1 analog audio outputs. This is a nice bonus for anyone with an older non-HDMI receiver, as you'll be able to take advantage of the full resolution of newer soundtrack formats like Dolby True HD and DTS HD Master Audio. The Toshiba's Blu-ray image quality is excellent overall as the BDX2700 passed all of the most important test patterns and program material tests that we threw at it. In general, we don't find many significant differences in Blu-ray image quality between players, so there's really no reason to buy a more expensive player thinking you'll get better image quality. Now on the other hand, the BDX2700 was the slowest Blu-ray player we've tested this year in terms of disc loading speed. It was slow whether the disc had BD Java menus or not, so it's really not a great choice if you get impatient easily while waiting for a movie to load. So overall, we found the Toshiba BDX2700 to be a decent Blu-ray player, and we like the 7.1 analog outputs, but otherwise it doesn't have much going for it compared to faster models with better features. I'm Matthew Muscoviak from CNET.com, and this is the Toshiba BDX2700.